Hello guys and welcome to this new Power BI tutorial. In this video, I'm going to create the following Amazon Prime video dashboard. We're going to use two custom colors like the logo for both the background and the charts. We will create two horizontal bar charts, a map, a donut chart, an area chart, and different cards. As you can see here, we are going to define the different borders using rotated angles. And also, we are going to import the Amazon Prime video logo. But before start creating our charts, let's first explore our data set. First thing, we are going to import our CSV file. You can find the links in the description to download the file directly from Kaggle and also from my GitHub repository. So click on get data, text CSV, and like that we get our data set. So the first column is about show ID. Then we have the type, so either we have a movie or a TV show. Then we have the title, the director, the cast, then we have the location or the country, date added, the release year, then we have the rating, and here we have duration. As you can see here for movies it is by minutes and for TV shows it is in seasons. Then we have the genres or listed in, and finally we have the description. So click on load. And here on the right, we have our data set. So here we have the different columns. So the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to set background for our report. So we click on the report, we go to here, format your report page, canvas background, we click on color and more colors. And here we write our code 19222. All right, and transparency, it is 0%. Okay, so here we have our background. We click. The first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to create field map for total titles by country. So we click on field map. We select country. Put it like that. On the tooltip, we drag and drop show ID into the tooltip. And we select count distinct. Here for country, I'm going to select all and we remove the null values. So for the formatting, map settings, so the style, it will be dark. And for the field colors, we click on condition and formatting. So for the format style, we are going to select gradient. Here we are going to select show ID as count distinct. For the highest value, we click more colors and here we add our code. So we put 00 A. 8E1. OK. We click on OK. So, like that, we get our map using conditional formatting. As you can see here, the highest value is in the United States with 253. We have India with 229, etc. So, we can decrease this one. And now I'm going to format our map. So click on general for the effects background we select our background which is this one with the code the border in white and it will be 20 next we have the title so we put it in 16 and it will be white in the center and it will be total titles or total shows by country. All right. Same thing for the divider. We put it in white. 
and like that we get our map so if you close this one close this one and close this one we get our final map so you can put it in here like that next we are going to create the donut chart for movies and TV shows so we select the donut chart and we select the type so go to the filters for the type we select only movie and TV show right and we put show ID into the values as count distinct all right now I'm going to format that so on general for the title it will be movies and TV shows so it is in 16 in white in the center same thing for the divider it will be white and close this one so we have the effects for the background we have our color okay which is this one then we have the border in white rounded corners 20 okay now if we go back to visual detail labels the values are white alright the legend same thing in white okay and we change the colors so close this one for the slices so for movie we select the color more colors and we add our code in here we have 00A8E1 all right for TV show we put it with this color okay it's so like that to get our donut charts we put it here in the bottom like that all right so next we have the area chart for total movies and TV shows by release year so we click on area on the x-axis we will have release year so we put it in here on the y-axis we will have the show ID as count distinct and on the legend we are going to put the type so we have movie and TV show now I'm going to format our chart so go to formatting for the x-axis the title is off and the values we put them in white same thing for y-axis so the values in white and no title go to general effects background we select our background okay we have the following color for the title we put total shows by release year so it will be 16 white in the center and divider it will be in white now same thing we close this one close this one go back to visual close this one close this one close close so we go to the legend and for the text it will be in white we close this one and now for the lines so for the colors for movie we select this color okay with the following code and same thing for TV show we select this color all right so now we add only the borders put them in white with rounded corners 20 
just like that you get our area chart just decrease this one a little bit like that decrease this one and we put it in here all right as you can see here we can also change the axis so when we click go to here x axis for the range the maximum i'm going to put 20 21. all right now i'm going to import our logo same thing you can find the link in the description to download the logo so you click on insert we click on image and here we get our logo so we click on general effects the borders in white and here rounded 20 all right so put it like that same thing in here okay so like that we have our logo next we are going to create a horizontal bar chart for ratings by total shows so click on bar chart on the y-axis we'll have the ratings right on the x-axis we are going to have the count distinct of show id same thing now i going to format our chart so click in here general we add the background with our color same thing for the border in white and rounded corners with 20 go to the title so put ratings by total shows so it will be white in the center 16 and we add divider in white okay now for the visual y-axis it will be in white same thing for the x-axis the values in white and we add the data labels same thing in white okay just so like that we have our horizontal bar chart for ratings by total shows the next chart is another horizontal bar chart for generous by total shows so click on ratings by total shows Control c so copy and paste the same chart Control v so put it in here decrease it a little bit all right and here instead of ratings so we remove ratings we add listed in all right we go to the filters for listed in so we select all and we remove the null values all right okay so close this one and for the title so click on format general title so instead of ratings we have generous all right so here we have generous by total shows so we close everything okay now i'm going to add the cards so here we have the card click and the first one is total titles so we drag and drop the title in here and we select count distinct formatting remove category label and for general so the effects we add our background which is this one the border same thing it will be in white rounded corners 20 okay we close this one and for the visual the value it will be in white 30 okay 
and for the title so it will be on and we put total titles so the color it will be this color and it will be 20 in the center okay so decrease it like that So same thing, we copy, so control C and we paste five times. One, two, three, four, five. So put one in here, another one in here. Okay. And I think we are going to decrease the size a little bit. Okay, so this one put it in like that. Same thing for this one. And same thing for this one. Okay, so we decrease this one a little bit. Okay, like that we have our six cards. Now I'm going to customize each card. But before doing that, we are going to first change the colors of the parts. So the color it would be this one. Same thing for this one. All right, so here we have total ratings. and go back so we have the rating in here as count distinct next we have total generous so we remove this one and we have listed in as count distinct same thing it will be generous Next we have directors and it will be count distinct of the director. Okay, here we have the start date, which is the minimum of the release year. Change title, so we have start date. And here we have the end date. Which will be the maximum of the release year. Okay, so if you close this one, close this one. So like that, we get our final dashboard for the different TV shows and movies on Amazon Prime Video. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial.